Well, hello, hello, and welcome back to my garage. All right, well, the last one we had some issues, but I went ahead and reinstalled the uh, car wash over here. Unfortunately, I completely uninstalled it because I thought that was giving me the crashing issues, but it turned out it was just OBS and the encoder that I was using anyway. Uh, so this one, we are going to just start building the engine. Let's go ahead and get this back opened up. Uh, let's see if we could actually slide this over by hand. We can. Okay, fantastic. And we are just going to go ahead and start getting... We're going to go ahead and start uh, building the diesel engine real quick. Uh, screw all that stuff. Now, I should be able to drag this, but I was having a lot of problems trying to drag it before. Like that turns. Let's see if we go down here. Can you no longer... Um... Oh, maybe we need the move tool now. That might be what it is. Uh, which is fine, because I know this thing used to be kind of buggy when you try to roll it, just like these things here. Yeah, this is fine. Okay. We're just going to bring it over here into the sun next to the trailer. Uh, and we're going to build it over here real quick. Yeah, these things, yeah. Well, no, it seems like they work a lot better than they used to. Okay, fantastic. Well, let's go ahead and start getting this. Uh, there's our demo derby bumper. I wonder if that would have helped uh, avoid us some damage if we would have just put that on. Anyway, uh, let's see. I don't know if I can jump. Okay, we can. Awesome. We're going to go ahead. Oops, that went outside. Uh, actually, we're just going to put everything outside here so we don't have to keep running uh, inside this freaking trailer. So yeah, let's get this all out. There we go. And what the cool thing is, once we get this into the NIV, uh, if we decide that we don't want to use the NIV as our towing vehicle and maybe switch over to the, uh, wolf wagon or something like that, uh, we could easily just pull this engine back out and, and throw it into the wolf. Okay, there we go. Almost all of the parts are out and they are out. Okay, awesome. Uh, we're just going to move this real quick over to the side here. Okay, easy, easy. It's not what I was looking for. I was trying to back her in here. There we go. Yeah, we'll just park it back here for now. I don't know if the brake does anything or not, but uh, hopefully so. Uh, okay, it does say NIV. Yeah, let's go ahead and get this thing oops, put on. And of course, we're going to need our wrench to hook it up. Uh, but this is going to be a little bit... Oops, uh, let's see here, actually. Okay, no, that's tight. Okay. Yeah, this will be a little bit more uh, casual here. I'm not going to try to rush it or cut it or anything like that. Probably going to take us a couple episodes to build it, possibly, I don't know. Uh, but let's go ahead and start with the basic, uh, the bottom. So we're going to need the crankshaft. I guess I should just leave my wrench in my hand at this point. Uh, but let's get this all tightened up here. Yeah, if you happen to be one of the few that watch the Mamba Zoo series, uh, good news. Uh, we got a video that went up today for Mamba Zoo, and we will be having Mamba Zoo going up uh, on the daily for the next while. So, there we go. Let's go ahead and tighten this thing up. Um, let's go ahead and drop this real quick and get all of our pistons together. It looks like there's one, two... Uh, maybe over here's the rest. Three, four. Okay, perfect. We got all the pistons. I was worried we might have lost some of them or something, you know what I mean? All right, let's see. Next up. There we go. Yeah, I don't know if it would be a nightmare if he added uh, piston rings or not. It would prob it'd probably be a nightmare. It's probably better there aren't piston rings because... Uh, you'd probably end up losing them super, super easily. All right, let's get all these 
Pistons tightened, all six are in. Um, oops, and there we go. So we got all of the pistons in, crankshaft is in. Yeah, there shouldn't be anything else on the bottom here. So let's go ahead and throw in. Yeah, I'm pretty sure, right? Unless this thing's different. I don't know where glow plugs and all that go. Um, you know, in fact, I don't, yeah, I think they go on the outside of the engine though, up by the spark plugs or something. Uh, let's make sure we didn't lose the glow plugs actually first. Because I thought I saw the other day something was like clipping through the ground. It was really tiny. Let's see. Just kind of get everything separated out here. Yeah, I might have lost some parts actually. Uh, maybe, I don't know, maybe I saw the spark plug and I thought it was something else. Um, let's see. What do we got? That's just a grinding disc. Okay, now we should be okay. It'll probably show up. I don't even know what the hell a glow plug looks like. I probably, oh, there it is. Look. Oh, no, that's a injector. Yeah, that's the injector. So, yeah, I don't know what they look like anyway. Let's go ahead and just start putting it together and see where we are. But I don't think anything goes on underneath uh, this oil pan. So we'll get it on, get it tightened, crank that engine around, and start building the top. All right, there we go. Uh, let's rotate her. Uh, so we might as well put on the head. That almost looked cracked. Uh, before that, though, of course, we need to put the gasket on. And there's the head right here. Let's tighten her down. I don't know how long it's going to take to actually build this thing. Uh, let's see. Anything else going to go? Oh, yeah, we need the cam. I see it right there. So the cam goes on now. Oops. And then we could probably do the camshaft sprocket and then that tiny little crankshaft sprocket as well. All right, there we go. Yep, one more. All right, there we go. All right, let's grab the sprockets. This looks like the camshaft, crankshaft. I keep calling it cam. Uh, yep, that one just clips on. Uh, that's the one you need the tool to get off. What is that? Oil filter. Let's see if we can find the crankshaft sprocket now. Uh, and that might have been one of the parts we actually might have lost. Well, there's the timing chain. Uh, wires main are up here for some reason. Probably, let's see if I don't think anything would have spawned inside of here. No. Well, here's a, cr uh, what did we put on? Did we put on the crankshaft sprocket or the camshaft sprocket? We put on the crankshaft. Okay, so we don't. Need this. We're looking for a camshaft sprocket. I think I actually did end up losing it. Now, let's see. I mean, yeah, I'm definitely not seeing it down here, um, but it's a crankshaft pulley, but I think we, I don't, wait, does, there's a sprocket that goes on first, right? Oh no, the pulley goes on. Forgot we're looking for cam, 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 cam. And I know I did buy it because I remember clicking on it. What is this? That's the air filter lid. Uh, is that it under the turbo? Nope, that's that freaking other thing. Okay, well, it does appear we lost a part somewhere. 
uh, might actually still be in the trailer, so we might just go look for it real quick. That's a disc. Um, I don't think I put any parts in the car, so we shouldn't have to worry about that. I guess we could always pull the one off this car, but I'd rather not. I'd rather keep that engine uh, either the way it is or improve it a little bit more. Anyway, let's look back in here real quick just to be sure. Doesn't appear to be anywhere. I was thinking maybe it clipped through the floor, you know what I mean? Uh, but it doesn't look like it. Okay, it looks like we did definitely lose it. So, yeah, and if it would have clipped through, it looks like it would have actually go gone through the entire floor. Okay, well, uh, I mean, if we buy it, we buy it. That's fine. I don't think it's going to cost a sh crap load. It uh, doesn't matter about that. Let's just go to this, go to engine, and we're looking for the camshaft sprocket. 48 bucks. Yeah, it's not like it's the end of the world. It's not the most expensive thing in the world, so, but it does kind of suck that I can't find it. And it's probably right in front of me. Uh, I guess we'll find out at the end, but let's get that attached. Now that we have both of those, we should be able to attach the... Looks like there might be something else that it connects, though. Oh, yeah, there's going to be something that attaches over here. Who knows what that could be? Um, but it's obviously some other kind of gear. Okay, well, let's go ahead and see. Let's see if we can stick the steering pump on. I don't think so yet. Nope. Okay. Uh, let's see. Don't want to put the manifolds on yet. Or the starter. Maybe the fuel pump. Well, that does fit. So let's grab our wrench. There we go. And there should be one more under there. Yep. Awesome. And I did figure out uh, what was going on with my shift or my control key yesterday when I was trying to do, uh, uh, when I was crouching, I was having to hit it twice or whatever. Um, it was because I disabled sticky keys, but I didn't actually disable it. I thought I did. Uh, I ended up screwing it up. Uh, fuel filter. What else can we put on here? I feel like I'm missing a lot of stuff. Water pump. Can we put that on now? Uh, is this the valve cover? It's the air filter. Wait. Oh, that's the bottom. Okay, those all three go together. Well, looks like I lost a lot of parts or something because where the hell's the valve cover? For the top, you know what I mean? Okay, well, I have no clue. Uh, let's see what else we can put on. Oil filter housing. Okay, we can. Uh, I don't know if there's bolts on the back. There is not. Uh, where's the oil filter? That's a fuel filter, not an oil. Uh, there it is, that yellow thing. Yep, okay. Let's stick that in there, and then we should be able to... I don't think that screws in, yeah. Uh, but we should be able to put the oil filter housing lid on now. Okay, and that does unscrew. Okay. Uh, we don't need that. What about the fuel pump? Or this thing, I mean? Uh, definitely not. Oh, okay, so that did go onto there. Okay, perfect, okay. Uh, let's go ahead and put the valve, or not the valve cover, but the timing chain cover on now then. Uh, nothing else should be going behind that, or on top of it or whatever. So, there we go. I think it's just those four. Now we should probably, yep, there we go. I was going to say we should probably be able to put that on. And two more on the bottom. Yep, there we go. And there we go. Awesome. Awesome. Uh, what else should we put on? Uh, we could probably stick on the water pump. What the hell did we just have? What the hell was this part? Fuel pump, probably. So let's put the fuel pump filter in. Uh, or not. Does this come off? 
Uh, what the hell? Oh, that was power steering. Okay, 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 okay. I got it. Uh, let's see here. This is the water pump. Why? Okay, there it is. Okay, we can add, tighten this up. There we go. Uh, what could we add on to next? Uh, the belt tensioner, probably. Uh, there's the alternator. I guess we could put that on, probably. Let's see if it have a, even attaches yet. No, it doesn't. Of course not. Uh, let's put the belt tensioner on. There we go. Uh, is it, I think it's just the one. Yeah, let's see if we get the alternator on now. Uh, of course not. Okay, it's probably... I thought I saw alternator bracket once. Uh, but I don't think so. Okay, so what's up next? Maybe... Let's rotate this. I guess we could do some of the exhaust parts or something. I feel like I definitely lost a lot of parts. Which they should have been all here unless they fell out when we were driving. Uh, but let's see, this is the, yep, goes on right here. There we go. Uh, we could probably put the intake on the other side. There we go. Yep. Just rotate her around real quick. Uh, we will have to put spark plugs in there. Alright, that looks good, minus the valve cover. Um, air filter housing. I don't know, I didn't even need to buy the air filter. I have the turbo, so I'm pretty smart about that. Okay, let's see if this will go on now. So I'm definitely missing something. Uh, probably... Uh, is the valve cover so we can't put that on yet let's see if we could i don't think we could put the belt on yet well we actually can and we could see where the alternator goes which is going to be on this side of the engine uh but yeah i think we're missing a bracket or something let's see if we can uh, put this on now oh we cannot Okay, maybe the turbo goes on next. Yep, okay, that's right. Okay, let's get that turbo tightened. And now we can put this on. Uh, nope, of course not. I'm not a turbo expert. Oh, it was on the other side. I'm a smarty smarty. Oh no, it was on that side. I just couldn't hit it from there for some reason. Okay. Yep, there we go. And then that'll connect to the exhaust exhaust. Uh, we can hit the turbo filter. Yep, there she goes. Uh, let's see, there's the bolt on this side probably. Yep, okay. Um, oh, there's the alternator bracket. Look, uh, keep that in my hand. I uh, just thought I'd let you know if things don't quite look right, uh, it's because... I had a crash again, but anyway, I'm going to get it back to where it was and I'll be back. Okay. I think I'm back where I was before. Uh, so we are going to grab the alternator bracket, uh, stick it on. And now we can grab the alternator itself. And there we go. Okay. Perfect. All right. Let's see what else we can get. All right, we should be able to put the belt tensioner on now. Indeed, we can. Uh, actually, I think I already had that on. I don't remember. Okay, anyway. Uh, let's see. Uh, let's go ahead and put the... What is this? Oh, yeah, I didn't put this back in it. Uh, fuel filter. Uh, was there a fuel pump? I don't remember. Okay, maybe that doesn't go on yet. I don't think we did put that in yet. Uh, we could put the belt on, probably. Okay, I think we did have that on before. All right, let's go ahead and attach the fan. 
There we go. And let's see, what else are we missing here? Obviously, we're not going to be needing that fuel filter anymore. Or, uh, not fuel, but air filter. Uh, I don't know if this goes on. I think it, yeah, this should definitely go on, right? Yep, there it is on the other side. So there's the starter. Uh, where did my wrench go? There it is. Okay, let's go ahead and get that starter attached. And there we go. There we go. Okay, fantastic. Okay, let's see. What else are we really missing on this? Obviously, the valve cover. It looks like still a bunch of other stuff. Um, spark plugs, of course, we're going to need. I mean, we. Oh, wait, this thing. This is the fuel injector. Okay. Uh, I don't know where this goes at all. There it is. I think it's on this other side oh no where did that go oh there it is okay i don't think oh do we need a freaking all of those oh okay well, where the hell's the spark plugs go oh they go under the under there don't they i thought that was a spark plug this whole time uh let me actually grab a spark plug and see where it goes uh, i think it goes underneath though Oh, that's the glow plug. I thought that was a damn spark plug as well. Okay. So where does this one go? Does, oh, does these go in here? Okay, so we need six glow plugs. Oh, for each cylinder. Okay, that makes sense. Well, let's stick it in this left one since that's where we have. And then let's put this one in here. Okay, so we need five more of the whatever these are and five more glow plugs. Okay. So does, oh, okay, wait, does diesels not take spark plugs? Is that how that works? Yeah. Oh, well, that makes sense, I think. Because, you know, the combustion is just from, uh, not oil, but like the gasoline, not the gasoline, the diesel. Okay, cool. Okay, so we need, what is this? This is... Oh, that's the belt. Okay, I thought this is the power steering. There's no fluid. Uh, so fuel filter. So we're missing a fuel pump. We're missing, right, a fuel filter. Oh, no, wait, hold on. Where's this go? Wait, hold on. Oh, <laughs> there it is. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, we're learning. We are learning. Okay, let's go ahead and buy the valve cover and the rest of the glow plugs. And uh, it's an air filter. Yeah, that's an air filter. Okay, yeah, let's go buy the rest of the parts. All right, so we got the diesel. Um, let me go through and make sure we got everything here. Okay, there's the cylinder head cover. There's the glow plug, so five, five more. Don't have that out there, the glow plug relay. I'm assuming only one of those, but we'll see, I guess. Uh, five of the injectors. I didn't see the normal ones. And that should be it. Let's type injector real quick. Shit. Oh my god, I'm gonna have to reload. Oh, and there's the timing chain I was missing. Okay, hold on. Why did that pop up? Oh, because I'm pushing I for injector. Oh, well, that's freaking fantastic. Okay, well, we need to get away from that damn trailer. Okay, there's only... Oh, there's only the HP ones, huh? Hmm. Well, there's the five injectors. Let's pull out our bag and get all these in there. Okay, we don't have enough room, uh, but that's okay. Let's go ahead and stick this on top. And let's go ahead and... Did those fall out? Oh, they must have fallen out when I uh, had to... Uh, I had to reload. I sold my stupid trailer on accident, so... 
I don't know if you call it that or not, but okay. And oops, and this should be it, right? And I bought another timing chain because I couldn't find the timing chain. Uh, but when I sold this, uh, there it is right there. See, damn it. That's okay. We'll have an extra timing chain. Okay. Uh, do we need the spark plug wrench to put those pieces in? Uh, we very, very well may. Uh, let's go ahead and stick them in though. I think we'll go ahead and rotate this down so we don't have to keep crouching and standing up and all that stuff. Okay. Uh, so we'll start with these little glow plugs. Oh, actually, let's go ahead and tighten down the valve cover first. Okay, there's only two on that side. I'm probably kicking around all that stuff there. And, okay, and that one. Okay, let's drop this now. And let's get back down here and finish putting these on. Yeah, because they do kind of look like spark plugs, but... Uh, diesels, yeah, it only ignites the oil. There's no... Or, well, the diesel, which has oil in the diesel. Uh, so that's how it lubes itself up. Okay, let's get our wrench and tighten these up. Uh, okay, cool. I'm assuming the glow plugs will do the same, considering they fell out when I had to reload... There we go. Uh, save. And let's go ahead and stick these bad boys in. I'm assuming it's going to be the same thing. I'm going to rotate this around just a little bit more. There we go. Yeah, so that's interesting. There's only HP injectors and uh, horsepower injectors and not... Like a standard version let's see okay cool yep these tighten up as well okay awesome that's all of those now where does the glow plug relay go and i felt like that relay looked like it had like a big old freaking oh uh, this probably goes on the uh after we put on the wires main or something like that Okay, well, I'm not seeing where that goes, so let's go ahead and put these. Oh, these are actually fuel lines. These are probably going to hook up to all these glow plugs and such. Uh, I don't think those will tighten down. I mean, I guess we could try. Uh, let's get a wrench and just see. I don't think so, though. Oops. Oh, it does. Awesome. Well, I am definitely glad I looked because, good lord. Okay, stand up just a little bit. Let's see if the tops of these tighten up. They do not. Okay. And just to be sure, I'm going to test it with this. I don't think this will do it, but... Oh, no, okay. Okay, cold beans. Uh, let's see if this fits on now. Thinking this would go on to here somewhere, but oh, yep, look, there it is. Okay, well, it wasn't on that, but it was close enough. Okay, let's get these tightened. Okay, awesome, awesome. Okay, what are we missing? Uh, wires main, but that goes on once it's in the car. Um, I didn't see any parts inside the catalog that I'm didn't recognize or that I'm missing. Uh, yeah, this will be once it's on the car as well. And obviously those are not gonna, even going to go on. I think that's it. Well, there's only a few ways to tell. Yeah, the chain's still on there. Uh, let's go ahead and rotate her around. So this does still take oil, doesn't it? I thought... Diesels didn't take oil. I thought it lubed itself up. I must be wrong about that, obviously, right? 
Obviously, yeah, because there's there is a dipstick on this thing. So, uh, yeah, let's just check the dipstick real quick. Yeah, I don't know why I thought diesels didn't take it. I thought I just lubed its internal parts with the diesel. Hmm. I guess I am totally wrong about that. Okay, well, let's go ahead and put the oil in real quick. Uh, and then we will slap her in the car over there and get the, get her the rest of the way hooked up and exhaust and all that stuff. And uh, start it up. I don't think we can start this on the lift here. That would be awesome. Where's the throttle body? Is there a throttle to play with on here? Uh, maybe not since, yeah, I guess not. I thought there would have been a throttle somewhere on here where we could like rev it, uh, but obviously not. Okay, let's grab our oil. And okay, we got two oils left, so. Hopefully this thing will run and I didn't screw it up too badly, but uh, let's fill her up. Okay, it's filling. We are going to have to get a new gas tank, though. Um, that one has uh, gasoline in it. So before we even attach this, we'll put a new gas tank on. All right, there we go. This one's empty. Um, I'm assuming it's going to take two. Indeed, almost three. Oops, damn it, Dale. Oh, that's weird. It doesn't even have a sleeve for it to go in. Anyway, uh, let's grab the other oil. And I think I will look at the catalog one more time just to be on the safe side. Uh, that I didn't forget anything. Well, we have to go in the catalog anyway for the fuel tank. So uh, when we're in there, uh, when I'm in there, I'll take a look. Okay. Oops. It's not quite what I was wanting to do. Uh, let's get this lid back on. Let's check the levels. A little bit low still, actually. Um, I guess we will put one more in. Okay, so this must be, since it's a six-cylinder, maybe... Well, even the V8 I thought only took two. Okay, let's get some oil. I'm just going to buy one. I don't need more than one, so... Make sure I didn't have anything back there. Okay, let's go ahead and pop her off. Okay, we are filled up on oil. Let's get that cap back on. And let's go ahead and grab the fuel tank off this NIV. Um, I think we'll go ahead and pull it over there a little bit closer as well. Before we do that. And if you missed the last episode, uh, we wrecked this during the rally race, so... That's what happened there. Okay, there we go. Okay, let's grab our wrench. There we are. And let's get the fuel tank off. Uh, oh, there it is. It's, it's actually under the seat. Oh my god. Couldn't find it one time before. Okay, cool. Uh, I guess we'll keep this uh, in case we ever get another NIV. Uh, there's, and there's already some gas in here anyway. Okay, let's grab a tank. Uh, there's the tank, so let's buy that. Okay, it looks like we have everything. So let's get this in. Uh, get her tight. There we go. Okay, uh, let's bring this back. And we need to take out, uh, we need to take this engine out, uh, so we can slap in that other one. Okay, let's first start with taking off the wires. Uh, let's go ahead and get this one off. Oops, I, yeah, I loosened it, okay. And we already got, oh, nope, we didn't. Uh, we did get that one, though. Okay, we got the wires off. Uh, we'll just stick that over there. Uh, 
we'll keep that battery too. All right, now we just got to do the hoses, right? I'm assuming. Do we? Hmm, that's actually a good question. I might be able to get it off without, uh, without doing that. Let's go ahead and take off this exhaust pipe down here. There we go. Obviously, we need to detach the transmission here. Yep, there we go. Um, let's see. I think that might be it. Unless, of course, I do have to take off uh, the hoses, but we will find out right now. Oh, right. We actually don't have to take off the hoses. Okay. Uh, that thing definitely needs a rebuild, but let's see if we can go ahead and attach, uh, the six cylinder. Oh, wait, you know what? Uh, we have to put on all the clutch parts here. And we do got the starter on, by the way. Okay, good. Uh, yeah, let's see if we can attach this straight through the engine. Or uh, through the, uh, the what you call, uh, actually. Okay, yeah, let's take this off. So the clutch plate does look good. The flywheel's looking good. Uh, this is... It's a performance clutch, but... I feel like it doesn't look like it should. And what is this? This is the lightweight flywheel performance clutch. I thought it was red. Uh, let's go ahead and look in the book real quick. Oh, it just has red, red pieces. Okay. Uh, let's actually type in clutch. Pressure... Uh, clutch plate. Okay, they're both red. Racing clutch and clutch pressure plate. Okay. Well, it says performance. I think it's the same one, though. All right, let's start with the... Does it look like it needs replaced? Yeah, it does, huh? Those parts are not red anymore. Okay, yeah, that's actually worn out. Okay. Uh, it still works, but it's worn. All right, let's grab another one then. We'll do the racing clutch. It is interesting. It's maybe that's why I, I kept having problems uh, not being able to fully engage it. Let's see if this will go on. Oh, is this the wrong? Oh, this is only for the four-cylinder. Okay, good to know. And this here? Oh, this is only for the four-cylinder as well. Okay, I did not realize that. And what about this one? That was as well for this four. Oh, well, good to know. I should have known, but I didn't. Okay, pressure plate. Check. Uh, let's get rid of this clut. And let's grab the aftermarket light wheel flywheel. Okay. Okay, this... Okay, yeah, this should definitely fit now. Okay, perfect. Uh, yep, there we go. Let's go ahead and get her tight. There we are. And let's throw on our racing clutch that we have over here. And it actually says racing clutch, so... That doesn't screw on. And now we just need our pressure plate. There we go. And let's tighten this up. And we just have two more. All right. Nope, not yet. Okay, there we go. Now that should be the entire engine. And let's make sure the oil's not leaking out. And I forgot to check it anyway after we put that on there. Okay, I think it's ready to be slapped in here. And everything else should just hook up. Yeah, let's find out. All right, loosen, please. There we go, and let's toss her in. Oh, right, I think it's going to work. Oh. Yeah, let's just bend down. And there we go. A little bit of a snag or glitch, but we got it. Okay, perfect. And let's see, it's a little bit tight up here, as you can see. 
but that's understandable. We will definitely have to uh, go ahead and take some of this stuff off beforehand. Let's tighten up the... Oh, we're going to have to get underneath to tighten up the uh, transmission. Uh, let's go ahead and get the rest of the wires put on. So these do run on all of them, but we're going to actually save these to the side and put brand new wires on. All right, let's tighten up the one on the frame first. And then the one on the engine. We'll grab the alternator next. And let's see where this wraps around to on this side. Uh, there's the starter. And this doesn't have an ignition coil. At least it doesn't appear to. Uh, but I do see two wires coming down and they both go to the starter. Okay. Okay, so that's a good uh, fuel line. Fuel line. We do have uh, this fuel line over here. But we're not going to use that either. We're going to use the brand new fuel line. All right, let's see where this attaches. Ah. There we go. Okay, that should be that. Uh, let's take a look here. I think that's going to be everything. Yeah, I think that's going to be... I think that's going to be everything. Um, let's take off this hood real quick. The hood's good, uh, but I do want to get it off just so we have a little bit more room to play around here. And I'm thinking, no, we can't take it off because if I do, I will remove the uh, radiator. Uh, but, yeah, it's a little clip through, but I think we could actually... Uh, deal with that once I fix this front end. Uh, I think that's going to be it. Uh, let's just check the radiator fluid real quick. Well, it's a little bit hard to see. But it definitely seems like it's empty. Do you, let's see if we see any pink on this radiator. Uh, I do not. Okay, let's get uh, some coolant real quick and fill this thing up. Uh, I don't think there's power steering fluid yet. Yeah, because I thought about just taking off this whole front end, uh, but I forgot that the uh, radiator actually bolts uh, to the front end, but we could do that on the next video. You know, as far as like Oh, we got to put the battery in still too. But yeah, in the next video, we will go ahead and uh, finish like fixing the front end of this thing up and putting a new front end on and all that stuff. All right, finally. Okay, let's throw this out. Uh, let's get the cap back on. Make sure it's actually in here and it didn't just drain out to the bottom. Okay, it is. All right, uh, let's just go underneath real quick. I just want to look and make sure. Yeah, it's really tight, so the six-cylinder doesn't really fit in this too well. Uh, so what we'll probably end up doing, we'll go get the front end fixed and everything, see if it looks a little bit better. Uh, but then what we'll probably end up doing is getting the wolf wagon and just kind of making that our, um, our vehicle that we use to you know, get around in our permanent vehicle. Okay, that should be everything. Uh, we did not tighten up the, the transmission, uh, though, so let's go ahead and tighten that up real quick. Uh, I might have to put it on the lift. I got a mess going on over here. Let's see if we can make a little bit of room and get it pushed, put onto this lift so we can tighten it up. Well, I guess I don't really need to. It's not like I'm going to be driving it. Let's make sure it's not into gear. There's the exhaust we still got to put on. Uh, maybe I should actually put that on first so we can... Uh, let's hear it without the exhaust. And you need to behave over there. 
Yeah, let's try it without the exhaust, see how loud it is. Uh, let's just make sure it's not in gear real quick. It is. Okay, there we go. It's in neutral. All right, let's see if it'll start. Uh-oh. I f forgot to put gas in it, right? Yeah, we forgot to put gas in it. Okay. Hopefully we didn't blow anything there. Yeah, no, we just had to put gas in it. I'm surprised it actually sputtered a little bit. Uh, let's just push it across the street. I'm not going to bother with a freaking gas can. And, yeah, screw that. And we didn't make it over the curb. And I don't know if we're actually going to make it over the curb. Uh, let's try it again. Okay, we're going to have to push this to the side. Okay, there we go. And, oops, forward, please. Come on. You want to do it. Okay, apparently we're going to have to do this. Okay, I think we popped, yeah, we popped it over. Okay, next tire, please. Uh, that tire did not go over, though. Okay, let's see if we can push it now. Okay, we can. All right, and it's on this right side. Oh, nope, it's on the passenger side. Wonderful. Uh, let's just whip this puppy around. Okay, and back her up. <laughs> Okay, well that was quite the mission. Uh, yeah, let's go ahead and get some gas in here. Uh, this is diesel, so... There we go. We're just going to put a little bit in it for now, just enough to get it started. I'm going to just check my fluids one more time. Make sure nothing's leaking. Okay, we're good. But we're going to check our oil one more time okay we're good all right let's give it a start get out of here okay come on what happened uh hold on a second my door is not behaving okay i better save it i feel like something's bad gonna happen with a crash or something uh, hopefully I didn't break anything already. Okay. All right, let's jump in this time. And let's try it from inside. It's in neutral, so... Oh, you know what? Maybe we have to let it warm up, like the, the glow plugs or whatever. Not too sure how that works. Okay, let's try it now. Uh, I don't think that's supposed to happen. Hold on. Excuse me. Am I forgetting something with this engine? We got oil. We got coolant. We got brake fluid. What the hell is going on here? And why it's not starting? All right. Well, that's it. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching. And we'll see you guys in the next one, man. Later, later.